Matthew back with the Huddle Haas, and this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm claiming that today, and I am rejoicing. We got some rain, and now the sun is shining, and it's just beautiful. Uh, so that's how I'm going to look at my day. I'm just going to keep on rejoicing. Uh, so Amy's gone to the chiropractor, and the kids are over at my mother-in-law's for a little bit, and so it's quiet in the house. And when you have four little boys, you rarely ever hear that sound of quiet. Uh, but I love it. Uh, even the days that it just makes me a little bit crazy because they're running and screaming and yelling. I'd much rather have that than a quiet, empty house all the time. I also need to remind myself that sometimes too. But since they're gone, I thought I would help Amy out today and make supper. Uh, so I've got some things outside that I need to get done. I have some things around the house that I want to finish up. And so I just thought I'll throw something in the crock pot and surprise her uh, so that she doesn't have to make supper tonight. Uh, well, it's about 1130. I have a meeting at the, our school at uh, seven. So uh, that gives me about, you know, six hours. So I found a recipe uh, that'll take about six hours to get done. I'm going to be using this Fix It and Forget It cookbook that I found at a thrift store uh, for, it says $2.99, but I think the blue tags were half off that day, so probably $1.50. I have some other recipes out of this that I've used before. I know one is the Swiss steak, and we we do that not a lot, but sometimes because it's a really good recipe. So I'm trying this out. I'll try to link this below, but uh, you can find this probably about anywhere. It's an older one. So we are gonna do Italian chops. I like pork chops. We don't have them a lot. I didn't grow up eating pork chops a lot. Uh, my favorite way to make them is to either grill them or to bake them in the oven with like shake and bake on them or like uh, uh, breadcrumbs. I think pork chops have a tendency to dry out. And I wanted to make something that didn't take like cream of chicken or cream of mushroom soup because that's about all that I, I know other than shake and bake. So I found this one recipe called Italian chops. And so we're gonna make that today. So I'm gonna throw it in the crock pot, I'm gonna fix it, and then I'm gonna forget it. And I'm gonna go uh, do some chores outside. So come along with me. So this recipe is on page 137. I'll link it in the description box below, uh, but it's so simple that I'm just gonna throw things together. So I have my pork chops here. This calls for uh, two to four pork chops. You know, there's a bunch of us in the family and the baby's eaten and uh, boy, he can eat sometimes too. And these are some really nice uh, pork chops that our friend uh, raised out the pig and butch butchered this for us. Uh, so I'm just gonna throw these in the crock pot. Look how nice they look. So one, two, three, four, and five. So that'll, that'll do us with sides. Wash my hands over here real quick. Okay. <clears throat> so now, <clears throat> it said in this recipe, basically all you need is pork chops and Italian dressing. <clears throat> But it also said at the bottom, a variation, you could add cubed potatoes and thinly sliced carrots and onions to meat before pouring dressing over top. So I have some sliced onion, because why not? Uh, let's just do our sides as well. So everything's in here. So I'm just pouring some um, thinly sliced onions. I have four carrots that I kind of sliced on a bias and a diagonal. I'm just gonna put those on top. That was all the, the we had. We had four carrots in the refrigerator. And then I bought these new potatoes. I went cherry picking. You're gonna see that video, I'm not sure when, uh, probably before this one. And I stopped at a roadside stand and they had new potatoes. And I so badly wanted to make cream new potatoes and peas. Uh, over biscuits and I still might do that when our potatoes are ready uh, but I'm just gonna chop or slice these kind of up um, just like this and put them on top so I'm just gonna be slicing these up here
Okay, now that I have this, the recipe says for a 16 ounce bottle of Italian salad dressing, use less if only cooking two chops. There is about a quarter of a bottle here, so I'm going to dump that over, and I think I'm going to get a little bit more. We have another open bottle here in the refrigerator. We really like this Olive Garden style um, dressing. I mean, I, it doesn't... Amy loves the Olive Garden. Here's an unpopular opinion. I just think it's okay. I'll eat there because Amy likes it, <laughs> but she loves it. And, uh, but anyway, I do like the dressing. I do like the salad there. So the recipe says for 16 ounce bottle, I'm going to do that much. That's about 16 ounces, I would say. Okay, we're going to put the lid on and we are going to plug it in and we fixed it. Now we're going to forget it. So we'll bring you back when it's time for supper. I think with supper, we're also going to do a strawberry salad. I got some really nice uh, greens from that same roadside stand. So we'll probably do this and a strawberry salad for supper. So we'll bring you back when it's all ready. Okay, so here we go. This is what it is looking like. So I'm going to put it on a plate and we'll serve it up and I'll show you what else we're having with it. So what we're having for supper is the pork and potatoes. I put a little parsley on it to make it a little prettier, I guess. Some strawberry salad some from some fresh greens and strawberries. And then leftover uh, macaroni and cheese from uh, Sunday lunch. So this is what we're having for supper. I'm going to sit down and try it for you and see how we like it. So these... Uh, Pork chops are fall off the bone, and uh, they smell real good. They smelled real good while they were cooking, so let's see how they taste. Hmm. Not bad at all. Uh, I, I'm always really leery about uh, trying new recipes because you never know how they're. Oh, my hair's wild. How they're gonna taste, but. This one's not bad at all. I mean, what could be bad about it? Anyway, I'm going to tell the boys it's tight for Essa and we'll get to eating here. There's Carter. He'll be six tomorrow. He has a birthday. Anyway, thanks for watching. God bless.